In this video, I'll be talking about more David Raya news as Arsenal have submitted a bid for him. I'll also be talking about Matt Turner as Nottingham Forest have also submitted a bid for him. i also discuss other people such as Thomas Partey, Fowler and Balogun, Tommy Yasu and more. So starting off with the news about David Raya and it came from Fabrizio Romano last night actually. And he said that Arsenal have submitted an opening bid for David Raya to Brentford tonight. The proposal is worth 20 million fixed fee plus 3 million in add-ons. Raya has already told Brentford that he wants to move as personal terms are already agreed. And then there wasn't really much word on whether it had been accepted or rejected but then David Ornstein put this out earlier today. He said that Brentford are expected to turn down the opening Arsenal offer for David Raya but the proposal is only slightly below what Brentford won. Talks will continue as both clubs want deal for 27 year old goalkeeper to happen and are now working on the finer details. So we all know that Arsenal really want David Raya after David Ornstein broke the interest about a week ago and I thought this deal may drag out but it's you know just been heating up and heating up every day and now Arsenal have submitted their opening bid which is 20 million with 3 million in add-ons so an overall package of 23 million as I said it hasn't been rejected it's expected to be rejected but it hasn't yet and I think we all knew it wasn't going to be accepted to be honest because that is pretty low compared to Brentford's 40 million asking price. However, David Ornstein says that the 23 million deal is only slightly below what Brentford won. So one thing for sure is that this deal is not going to be done for anywhere near 40 million as that's a ridiculous price to pay. I think Brentford know that nobody is going to pay that for a player in the last year of his contract. So maybe this deal could get done by the second bid if it's only slightly below what Brentford want. And maybe a deal of between 25 to 30 million could easily be agreed. I don't know, we have to wait and see, but one thing for sure is that this deal is significantly progressing. It's not a deal that it seems like it's going to be dragging out for a long time. Both Arsenal and Brentford want their deal to happen quickly. So I would be surprised by maybe next week this deal isn't done as the bid has already gone in and it looks like it has been rejected as I said. But Arsenal and Brentford clearly not that far apart with David Raya pushing for the move as well. So have to wait and see what the next steps are now. Will Arsenal not put in another bid I would imagine so how much will that bid be and will Brentford accept it we have to wait and see what happens next but as you can see as well that Fabrizio Romano put out an exclusive saying that Nottingham Forest have submitted an official bid for Matt Turner he understands that the proposal has been made for a permanent transfer and talks are advancing with Arsenal crucial step in goalkeeper domino as Arsenal keep negotiating with Brentford for David Raya and that deal is getting close so we all knew that Nottingham Forest are very much interested in Matt Turner as an alternative to Dean Henderson at Man United and they've gone so far to even put an official bid and we don't know what this bid is as you can see. We don't even know what Arsenal value him at. I mean in my opinion I would be hoped to be getting at least 15 to maybe 20 million. So if Nottingham Forest have put in a bid something like that then I would imagine that it could easily get accepted but we don't know but I think Arsenal would also like to make sure David Raya comes in through the door as well. So maybe when David Raya comes in then maybe Matt Turner will be allowed to leave for Nottingham Forest. But this goalkeeper situation is very much heating up as it looks like Arsenal are very active in this market. It's well known that they want to bring in competition for Aaron Ramsdale and David Raya is seen to be a very good market opportunity and this means that Matt Turner will probably no longer be needed and he'll probably end up at Nottingham Forest if their bid is good enough of course but the main thing is is that some bids have gone in it's not just talks it's not just little things here and there it's actual official bids and these deals could easily be wrapped up at the same time as they're pretty much linked to each other have to wait and see though but actions are clearly being made and have to wait and see whether Arsenal can get Raya and whether Nottingham Forest can get Matt Turner but moving on to the next piece of news and this news is about Thomas Partey according to De Marzio, apparently there has been new contacts between Juventus and Thomas Partey whereas Tuto Sport was also saying that Juventus considers the asking price of more than 20 million euros for Thomas Partey is too high. So Thomas Partey very interesting situation it does look like he will be staying at Arsenal after Arteta says that he pretty much wants him to stay and that's when some
bottom of the link slowly went down as well so it looks like he will be staying but that obviously doesn't stop transfer rumours from happening and according to DiMaggio very good source they're saying that Juventus are still contacting Arsenal about Thomas Partey and also you can see on the right that I brought in the Frank Kessie going to a Saudi Arabia deal in and this is because of two reasons one Al Ali I believe they were one of the teams that were in from Thomas Partey from Saudi Arabia so I highly doubt that they go back in for him so maybe their pursuit of Thomas Partey could be done but also I believe Juventus were also targeting Frank Kessie so maybe now he's gone to Saudi Arabia they're moving their attention to Thomas Partey you can see on the bottom if that's true 20 million euros and they can't even afford that then I highly doubt this deal happens because I actually think Arsenal are asking for 40 to 50 million as well so if Juventus can't afford to pay 20 then there's no way they're paying 40 to 50 so despite Juventus still having an interest in the player it does look like he will be staying at Arsenal but I guess you never know maybe if Juventus somehow stump up cash then Thomas Partey could agree to the move there are still contacts going on clearly but I don't think any bids have gone in at the moment and I highly doubt this one gets done I think Thomas Partey will be staying at Arsenal for at least one more season I personally don't mind it as he is a you know very good player and on his day he can very much help the Arsenal team and Arteta still says he's part of his plan so it looks like he will be staying but I guess we have to wait and see next up some follow and Balogun news and Di Marzio put out this today and they said that in the event that Gianluca Scamacca operation does not materialize follow and Balogun would become the first choice target for Inter Milan so we all know that Inter Milan are heavily interested in Balogun but obviously the price tag was too high hence why they've turned their attention to Scamacca of West Ham as he is the cheaper option but according to Fabrizio Romano Atalanta are trying to hijack Inter Milan's moves for Scamacca West Ham are not happy with the 24 million euros plus add-ons bid made by Inter Milan today Inter Milan remain on the position but West Ham expect Atalanta to send a more important proposal this will be bigger than Inter Milan's one and the race is on so it looks like if Inter Milan may struggle to get Scamacca then it looks like they could be back in for Balogun but it's a bit of a weird one because even if they come in for Balogun like the price tag isn't going to change and apparently they've moved on to Scamacca is because he's cheaper so you know it's not like they're going to come back to Balogun and he's going to be any cheaper for them he's still going to be 40 to 50 million and that's why Inter Milan can't afford him and maybe moved on Maybe if they do lose out to Skamaka, then maybe they could be thinking that Balogun might be worth the money. But I don't know. If they can't afford it, then they can't afford it. And it looks like they will be moving on to other targets if Arsenal don't lower their price. And I don't think Arsenal will be lowering their price as they don't really need to. I think Balogun is well worth 40 to 50 million at least. But have to wait and see. Maybe if Inter Milan get desperate, they may just, you know, stump up the cash and get their player. Or they could end up getting Skamaka or maybe just move on to alternative targets away from Balogun have to wait and see but there's obviously plenty of interest in Balogun from everywhere but Inter Milan's probably be the most heavily linked club but moving on to some news that came from Gazetta from Italy they said that Inter Milan coach Inzaghi wants Takehiro Tomiyasu to complete his defense However, Arsenal will not accept their loan proposal and even for a sale, the player is not available for a bargain price. However, Fabrizio Romano, you know, says that Takehiro Tomiyasu hasn't been offered to any of the Italian club despite reports. He's a regular part of Arsenal's plans at the moment. The situation could only change if Arsenal sign a new fullback, but nothing close or advanced on that at the moment. So we were just speaking about Inter Milan and maybe if they want to spend money on Tomiyasu, he could have been available because we do have plenty of options there however I don't think they're going to be stumping up the money Arsenal won Arsenal have no reason to sell him of course and even if they wanted to sell him they would want 30 to 40 million at least in my opinion and I don't think Inter would pay that but he's in Arsenal's plans anyway so he's not going to be sold unless Tomiyasu really wants to go but you know that's not going to happen at the moment have to
to wait and see if anything develops on this, but Inter Milan are interested in Tomiyasu apparently. They were never going to get him for a loan or even a bargain price. And Arsenal may want to sign a replacement as well, but at the moment, Tomiyasu will be staying at Arsenal for the upcoming season. And finally, Santi Aruda tweeted on Nicolas Pepe. I talked about this the other day that Besiktas are genuinely interested in getting Pepe for a free transfer. And Santi Aruna confirms this, saying that Arsenal will meet Pepe's representatives to discuss a contract termination. Arsenal are ready to give him his last year of his contract in order to release him. Nicolas Pepe is apparently Besiktas' priority. So we all know that Pepe probably will be leaving the club. He isn't in Arsenal or Arteta's plans. And Besiktas looked like the favourites to get him when Arsenal terminate his contract. And apparently he's their priority, so it looks like they will be trying their best to get him. As I was saying yesterday, I don't think this would be a difficult deal to do and this can very much happen. As long as they meet his wage demands and everything like that and it's going to be unlikely that Arsenal actually get a fee. Just mainly because of his wages, nobody's going to want to pay Arsenal good money and pay north of 140 grand I think a week. So it looks like Nicolas Pepe will be leaving Arsenal, just have to wait and see if Arsenal can manage to terminate his contract and have to wait and see where he actually ends up but it looks like Besiktas is the likely destination at the moment but that's it for this video guys thank you guys so much for watching make sure you let me know all your thoughts in the comment section below what are your thoughts on the Nicolas Pepe situation do you think he'll end up leaving Arsenal and do you think Besiktas will be his final destination Tom Yasu are you happy to hear that he's in Arsenal's plans or perhaps you may consider a decent bid follow on Balogun do you think he'll end up leaving the club and do you think Inter Milan might come back in for him if they can pay the a good price. The Thomas Partey situation, do you think he'll end up staying at Arsenal now? Or do you think that maybe Juventus can't be ruled out as Thomas Partey may still want to leave? But let me know your thoughts on the goalkeeper situation as well. What are your thoughts on Nottingham Forest's bid for Matt Turner? The bid has gone in of course, we don't know how much, but how much would you like and you, how much would you consider to actually let him go? And of course, David Raya, what are your thoughts on Arsenal's intentions to get this done quickly? How much do you think Arsenal should pay and will end up paying and do you think Arsenal could potentially get a bargain if it's maybe below 30 million? Make sure you check out the video I did yesterday where I talked about more news regarding Pepe potentially going to Besiktas. I also touched on Marquinhos, the young Brazilian winger that's obviously at the club as he's set to go out on loan. That should be popped up on the screen by now as well as the subscribe button so make sure you subscribe to the channel as that really helps. Make sure you smash a like on this video as well and I'll see you in the next one.